Hello YouTube and welcome to Game and Stuff and today I'm bringing you guys some gameplay of the new uh, weapons or DLC weapons that were added into Black Ops 3. And if you didn't know actually uh, Activision and Treyarch actually had an update for in which all season pass owners got 10 rare supply drops and um, one guarantee uh, weapon supply drop which is really cool in my opinion but you had to be a season pass. Uh, this doesn't really fix the problem for supply drops but I mean it's a nice try. And right here my third opening of the um, supply drop on the timbers that I got from the season pass. I should get the L4 Siege which is really cool in my opinion. Um, I tried to get the other weapons but I couldn't. I did try out the FAMAS, the new FAMAS, but I actually got it from somebody I killed. But um, right here, uh, it's actually a semi-auto rocket launcher and um, you can shoot it, it could lock onto score streets. So it does both and it's actually low damage, I believe. And it's really not that great in my opinion. Now to be honest, I thought it was, I thought it was gonna be like one of the best uh, weapons in the game. I mean, it looks really cool. I mean, it's probably like the best looking gun in the game. I mean, it shoots four rocket launchers at a time. But to be honest, this is probably the worst DLC weapon in Black Ops 3, in my opinion. I mean, uh, the rocket launchers or the missiles are they're low damage, so I mean, it takes a couple shots to actually kill somebody. And it has a flat jacket. It's almost impossible to actually kill one of them. To be honest, uh, I had trouble actually getting kills for you guys because that's pretty hard. And right here, I got a double kill with because of the because of the car in the background. But yeah, I mean, um, I was kind of disappointed with this uh, DLC weapon. It's very weak, and it, it, it does okay against score streets, but again, it's very disappointing. Uh, especially for me, because it's like the only DLC weapon that I have. And to be honest, I tried the other ones, they're okay. Look at this, I missed right here all the shots. Um, because I I, I got uh, I don't have any of the DLC weapons, it's my first one, and it's kind of disappointing because I got like the shittiest one of them all. Uh, but anyway, you have to kill him. The missile has to hit him like real close to their body. That you kill him or impact them. And they have flat jacket. Uh, even if you impact them, it won't kill them. You have to be like shoot like a couple more uh, rocket launchers to actually kill them. It's very hard to actually get kills. Uh, I don't recommend that you use this to get kills if you are. Um, use scavenger because it's a must with this weapon. And right here, look at this. It doesn't even kill him. Which is really disappointing. Use scavenger for the, with this weapon. But I feel like the other ones, other rocket launchers in the game are much better. I know Treyarch's actually trying to like balance the weapons in this game. I mean, look at this, look at the UAV. It actually takes two shots to get, take down the UAV. I was actually really surprised. I didn't even, I, I was surprised, I was stunned to be honest. I kind of wish they actually like made it for the score streets. You actually take it down once, one missile with the UAVs and counter UAVs. But it didn't. I feel like it needs to be more uh, balanced. Because to be honest, the other ones are way better. Um, it's hard to get kills with this weapon again. I could get another double kill, but I was really lucky. I mean, they weren't paying attention. And yeah, I mean, it's probably like the worst DLC weapon in the game. And uh, I feel like it needs like a buff. At least make it so you can take down the first shoot a bit easier. I mean, look at this. I shoot the guy three times with the rocket launcher. I mean, yes, he has a um, flat jacket, but it still doesn't kill him. I mean, that's really frustrating, and I just couldn't get any kills with this weapon. It's really hard. I don't recommend nobody to use this weapon and again it's very disappointing for me because this is like the only DLC weapon that I have. I don't have none of the butter knife, butterfly knife, I don't have the wrench or the axe, nothing like that. It's like the first one I get is like the shittiest freaking uh, uh, DL DLC weapon in the game. But look at that, I missed all the shots, not, not even hit markers. But again it's very disappointing, hopefully they could balance it in the future and I, right here I did like a little test uh, to see how good it, it is against score streets, so right here. Two shots to take down the UAV, which is kind of surprising in my opinion. I think should uh, th I think it should be like one shot against one UAVs and counter kind of UAVs. So right here we're calling uh, uh, Talon. And it just takes two shots, and I was just kind of surprised. I thought I was going to take like three shots to be honest. And we do a test against a Wraith right now, I believe. Yeah, we do against the Wraith, and the Wraith actually takes um, a couple shots. I believe it takes five shots in total to take it down, which we'll see. You'll see right now. So he comes it in. I'm sorry, cause I'm sorry if this split screen is kind of hard to see, but I mean, I had to, you know, I had to work with this. Right here, it kills me. Right here, right here, I shoot all four uh, launchers at it or missiles. So it takes four. So that's four missiles right there, and it takes one more to take it down. I mean, it's critically injured. I mean, it's like it's like dying. I need like one more shot, and so the total takes five shots to take down the wraith. So it, it, it's decent against first shoots. I wouldn't use this weapon against you know to kill people or players with this. 
I recommend you guys use like the other rocket launcher to kill to get kills. But I mean it's okay get it's okay against score streets but not against people. So next up I actually tried up I tried the new FAMAS uh, remake in Black Ops 3. I got it's actually like sounds and it kinda plays kinda like the one in Black Ops 3, uh, 1. But this one has way more recoil. I mean it's really kinda hard to control if you're shooting on long range. I mean it's great close and uh, medium range but you need grip with this weapon. I mean grip is a must uh, attachment with this weapon. But it's still kinda nostalgic to actually like, have this gun. I mean I remember black, back in Black Ops 1 I used to use this gun a lot. So it's kind of cool how they added in this game. Uh, it's way, you know, it's, it's weaker, of course. I mean, they kind of balanced it, but I kind of wish it was like as good as the one in Black Ops 1. But it's still kind of cool to have. Uh, I mean, I feel like you just need grip and it'll, it'll be a good weapon. But still really cool to use. And uh, hopefully one day I could actually get it from supply drops, and that's even possible. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool weapon. It's pretty nostalgic, and it's kind of good in my opinion. And right here, um, I'm not going to commentate over this part. This is just some of the taunts and uh, new uh, body themes that I got. So I'm not going to commentate over this, but if you want to continue watching this, it has some of the new taunts, taunt, taunts in the game and new cam and new um, new gestures and all that kind of stuff. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching the video. Peace, like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching and peace. Recommendation. Reconsider actions. Return to basic training.